Okay, this one is You Know I'm No Good by Amy Winehouse. And it's as excellent as any other Amy Winehouse cover that Angelina has done, or better. Okay? Depends on what, which Amy Winehouse song you like the best, I think. Because uh, Angelina just, she just, you know, there's certain artists, I'm going to just throw a few of them out there, but I'll probably forget a whole bunch too. There's certain artists that Angelina covers that she just nails it. Amy Winehouse is one. Adele is another one. Um, oh, give me some others. Quick, quick, quick. Come to me, come to me. I think she does an amazing job with the Elvis uh, covers myself. I know there's, there's people out there that are lifelong Elvis fans that you'll never convince them there's anybody even close. But off, off we went into La La Land. So uh, I was getting in trouble anyway, so I think Angelina just threw me a lifeline there. Uh, there's, there's others. I can't, I can't think of them right now. Uh, she does a great job with Sam Smith's song. She does a great job with um, Whitney Houston's song. She does a great job with uh, pretty much everybody she sings. <laughs> and all the people that she only sang like one song of it, did, you know, she improved it. Let's do it before it changes to jumps off onto another one. Lead you downstairs in the car and heard you rolled up sleeves and you scald t-shirt. You say, what did you do with him today? Snuff me out like I was dead your prey. Cause you're my fellow, my guy. Help me, your soda fly. So, a few more comments, and we will listen to this again. So, back in the day when Amy Winehouse was singing, I mean, I was around, and I was aware of her, I knew of her existence, probably couldn't have named you any of her songs, you know, maybe, you know, if I was forced to, I might be able to try to come up with something, but, you know, I wasn't really a big fan of Amy Winehouse. Why? I don't know. Uh, there was a long period of, in my life when I really didn't, pay much attention to music, to be honest. I used to have it on when I was working, you know, and I was generally aware of some things, but I really wasn't a big fan of anybody. I was busy working, okay? And uh, that went on for a few decades, so I missed a lot of things. And I'll, grant, I'll grant you all that. Uh, but with that said, um, at this point in my life, I could listen to this all day long, this, this song. I could probably listen to this on a loop all day long. It's just, it's beautiful. You want to throw some uh, back up, back to black in there for a little variety? <laughs> we can do that, okay? That's okay, okay? Uh, and put that in the loop somewhere. I have two songs on the playlist, right? Uh, or any song by anybody, anywhere, anytime. It doesn't really matter, okay? But as far as, you know, Angelina, in a way, I see some of the comments over here. Angelina, in a way, has, has brought Amy Winehouse back to life by making this song now modernized and a little bit more relevant and also interesting okay all those things to me okay because i didn't listen to it back when she sang it but i'm listening to it now and it's her song so is that a good thing or a bad thing you know hey it is what it is i can listen to angelina all day long it doesn't matter what the song is i'm just a biased fan okay that's all i am so but angelina does bring more things to the table than anybody i've ever heard in my life period I've said it before, I'll say it again, I'll keep on saying it, because you know what? I believe it's the truth. And because I'm saying it and I'm talking about me, it is the truth. All right, let's move on. Let's watch, let's listen to this again. I think it's only a minute and 19 seconds. It's not that bad, like time-wise. I hate to tie you guys up forever, but I talk too much, too. Right? Okay. The spinny ball of uncertainty. 
Need you downstairs in the car, it hurt. You rolled up sleeves in your skull t shirt. You said, What did you do in today? Snuff me out like I was dead, your brain. Cause you're my fella, my guy. Help me, your soda fly. Okay, sorry, I got mesmerized and went over and played again. Okay, I don't think it's the worst crime in the world to let that happen. Uh, if anybody is going to complain about it, uh, you can send your complaints to my complaint department. That would be 1-800, you can call this phone number and leave a complaint on the phone. Okay, and here's the actual phone number, 1-800. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> it's a little bit insensitive, so I'm not going to say it. All right. So, why is... So, there's a comment to Corey Lair... Well, good luck with that one. Laren's comment. Why is she not Amy Winehouse? Well, here's, here's some philosophical answer. In a sense, we're all connected. So, she kind of is in part... Amy Winehouse, okay? There's that. Um, but then here's another part. When they do, because they just did the movie, right? When they do movies, like they did with the Elvis movie recently, they don't, the, the, the actor or actress playing the part doesn't even have to know how to sing. You know, they can, they can Hollywood it. Okay, and make it look convincing. Uh, there's that. Then they have all the production stuff in the world at their fingertips to make things sound just the right the way they're supposed to sound. There's that, and they also have the professionals to run those machines to make it turn out the way they want it to turn out. There's that. The difference between a good movie and a bad movie, oftentimes, is those kind of things. You know, if they put that together properly. You're convinced that you're at that place at that time in that venue. You know, like with the Elvis movie, you're in there, you're sitting in the front row watching Elvis perform. That's what it feels like if it's done right, okay? If it's not done right, then you might walk out and go home and watch the movie on TV, some movie on TV. <laughs> so you might not even be there for the end. But with Angelina, she has the, the world's best voice. She probably she with her hair and all the other things she probably could get dressed up and look pretty close to amy amy had a really long uh kind of a long skinny face uh angelina's face is a little bit long but not you know it's it's beautifully long okay uh but not as i don't think it's quite as long and uh shaped quite the way like uh uh amy winehouse however again if she were in the movie and played Amy Winehouse, they could probably dress her up and, you know, make up it up a little bit and make things closer than what they are, enough to be convincing, right? And she certainly has the talent to sing the songs. I don't know if she has acting chops or not. I would imagine she probably could do anything she sets her mind to convincingly well, uh, fabulously well, probably. And to play in a movie, uh, one of the people she considers to be one of her inspirations would probably be quite a... Uh, quite an interesting uh, proposition for her. Uh, I've been writing a book for four years, and I, I 
wrote a part in there for Angelina. And if I ever get the book, if I ever get the book done and it gets published, and they turn it into a movie, which are all parts of my dream, then I would insist if they, if I had any say in it that they cast Angelina for the role of the singer, and you know if Angelina is interested in doing it. Okay, so uh, in fact, I don't have a song for the singer to sing. And there's a places for the singer to sing more than one. And if Angelina were interested in the role, I would certainly love to have her write songs for the movie. And, you know, I don't know how the, all the aspects of that work, but the same thing if they give her a role in a James Bond movie. I mean, I think she ought to write the song, perform it, and be in the movie. That's what I think, perform in the movie. But we've not seen her acting skills, so who knows uh, if that's even a possibility. And Angelina may not be interested, so uh, it's hard to say. She is going to. She wants to sing for the world. One way of doing that would be to get a movie that got real popular, and she'd get exposed to a lot more people. Uh, I'm just saying. But there's a lot of ifs in that. So let's. You know, this is about halfway through, maybe almost a third of the way through. But we might as well listen out. I'm being attacked by my dogs now, by the way. They're requiring my attention. Cause you're my fellow, my guy. Help me, your soda fly. By the time I'm out the door, you tell me down like Roger Moore. I treat myself like I knew. That I am no good. I treated myself like I knew I would. I told you I was trouble. You know that I am no good. Each okay, so. I had pulled up, to make sure that I had the right song, I had pulled up uh, Amy Winehouse YouTube videos. And for this song, there's a couple of them. This one says Vivo on it. You know I'm no good. Amy Winehouse, 383 million views 14 years ago. The next one is the same song. She's dressed differently and looks a little different. But live in London in 2007, 51 million views. Wow. Hmm. Yep, that's a lot of views. Oh, here's Amy Winehouse back to black. One billion views. Okay, so that leaves me to wonder always, Angelina is so good. Of course, she hasn't been out there on YouTube with these videos for 14 years yet. She's getting close on some of them. Some of them are seven, seven, eight years old. Or, uh, yeah, been around that long on uh, YouTube. But uh, I think someday there'll be, there'll be a billion by uh, her views. It won't be long. She's got a lot of her view, uh, videos now. I have uh, way over a million. So let us go ahead and move on to other things. Thanks for watching, and I appreciate you being here. We'll see you on the next video. Have a good night. Bye-bye.